there are two bonus chapters to this game. One is a continuation of the actual game, and the other is an alternate ending. I like the alternate ending better, so I'm going to play it first. You came to Dyer Grove to investigate the conflict between the Hunters and Mistwalkers. Eventually learn that Derek, the son of the Hunter's leader, might be involved in conflict. And so you sprung into action and quickly sped to Derek's house to learn more. But what if it happened differently? What if Derek was not the culprit? What if you were riding on your awesome ice machine and it was more fun than a barrel of monkeys? Okay, so, alternate ending where Derek is not the culprit. Cool. Need to get inside his house. And we're gonna collect some items here. So for the purposes of this alternate ending, we cannot go back to the hotel. And uh, we can't go over here. And the Mistwalker leader is right here. So the, those are the things they changed for this alternate ending. Besides for that, this really could have been the end of the actual game. Fits in pretty well. I don't see anything here at the shop, so let me just go forward to the museum. So, lifting up this thing, here's the puzzle. We want to fill the patch, I mean the hole in the tire. Then we fill the tire in order to get the ladder. So that's slightly different from the actual game. And this is a glass cutter. So here's another difference. In the actual game, this is a, a matching scene. Here, it's a find it scene. So I wonder what the story is behind this alternate ending. Was this like their original ending to the game and they decided to improve it? Or they, they just didn't like the original ending to the game so they decided to change it? My name is Ted, and I was once a poacher in the Sacred Grove, until I saw something in the grove that made me stop. He was a man, but his eyes were an endless abyss. When he gazed at me, I seemed to lose control over my own thoughts and actions. No one believed me, and I thought I'd imagined it, as if the man was a manifestation of my own guilt. Later, I saw Derek with this same man. Derek didn't seem to be himself, as if he were fighting against the other man's control. He left for the Sacred Grove, and after that, Dyer Grove was stricken with cold. At the time, I thought this was a coincidence, but... Oh yeah, that's that's great, that's great, that's a generator. And do I actually have all the parts here to build this machine? I do. Yeah, instead of actually finding a key or something like that, we're just gonna break the door entirely. Yeah, hopefully Derek doesn't sue us for damages, otherwise, uh... Well, let's be honest. If anybody in this town sues us for damages, we'll have to pay a lot. To Master Detective. 
He's back. The man responsible for my mother's death. My own grandfather. He took control of my will and coerced me into taking the child of the forest from the grove. I tried to resist him, but I failed. My powers have returned, but I don't know when he'll take over again. I'll try to undo what I've done, but if I fail, please don't anyone think I've been a traitor willingly. Okay. Not sure how people aren't going to suspect you when the only person you tell is a stranger who doesn't live in town, but hey, we have his credit card. Let's go buy stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking lots of online purchases. Maybe I'll buy every other game in the series. It turns out that Bjorn loved Lily. Her death was such a shock to him that he was willing to do anything to avenge it. Anything except actually kill someone. That's where he drew the line, meaning he's not the culprit. Fortunately, Bjorn soon came to his senses and resumed his protection of the sacred grove. That's when the poacher trespassed. The poacher was Ted, but it was Derek who stole the child of the forest. He didn't act willingly, however. The hermit had learned to control Derek's mind. Derek tried to fight him, but succumbed to his curse. I better head to the Druid Shrine and talk to the leader of the Mistwalkers. Mm -hmm. So our culprit is this evil, evil, um whatever his name is. So so he's an evil hermit. An evil mistwalker hermit. Hello, Master Detective. What would you like to talk about? I'd like to talk about your mask. It's hideous. Please take it off. It was a hermit mistwalker who put the curse on Dire Grove. And he was able to control Derek's mind. The hermit's back? I can't believe it. We were so ready to blame the hunters that we forgot what our own guilt could be. So you say even though it was a hunter who stole the fawn, he was being controlled by a mistwalker? That's twisted. Very I twisted. won't breathe a word of this to anyone. That could have bad consequences. I hope you can put an end to this madness. I need your help with Derek. He's not himself. Please go see him at home. Sure, I'll help him. Maybe seeing Derek again will help me jog my own memory. I'll meet you at Derek's. Maybe this is why they decided to turn this into the alternate ending of the game. Uh, they didn't really explain this part very well. Just, hey, this guy suddenly is Derek's brother. This house has awakened my memories. I remember now. I remember now. I remember now why they call it Thunderbird. What do you remember? Uh, I'm Peter Crawford, and Derek is my brother. I made a pact with the Mistwalkers, who promised to heal Derek in exchange for my life. I was brought up by their leader to be his successor. I became his successor too early, when he was murdered. This man... A hermit. My own grandfather. He did it. He destroyed my memory so I couldn't tell anyone what he'd done. Okay, Peter, you, you need like a throat lozenge or something. Your voice is getting kind of gravelly. Can you help, Derek? There's a way to remove the curse. The ingredients for the spell are written on a paper in the Dire Grove Museum. The museum curator doesn't have much respect for those who are ignorant of our region's history. So the lock to get in is the year of the Dire Grove's foundation. Here you go. Come back as soon as you can, Master Detective. Oh, this puzzle. Okay, so why why is this puzzle the same? It's not a good puzzle. Oh dear. I mean, it's a solid puzzle. It just takes forever to get the actual date in correctly. And, and, like, what does this have to do with knowing... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The museum owner is apparently a fan of history. I... I don't know. I just don't understand this puzzle. Like, can't anybody in real life just look up the combination on the internet? 
like seriously, you could Google, you could Google this information in real life and rob the museum at any time. Especially since the combination is written on the outside of the museum. I'm just saying it's not safe. And we have a little shield thingy. And glass cutter can go here. Shield here for a puzzle. Kind of a difficult puzzle. So what you want to do is move these things to the proper area. The proper area being something like this. Kind of have to overshoot it on the one to get the other perfectly in place. Oh man, okay, so that's the proper solution. Just difficult, difficult. Ah, it's the hermit! Alistair Dalimar. I saw you before Lily fell ill. How could you betray your own daughter like this? You're a monster. I'll never let you enter Dire Grove. No. So Alistair Dalimar apparently was the culprit in the previous game of the series. Mystery Case Files, Madam Fate? I, I think that's the name of the previous game in the series, not 100% sure. There are two Madam Fate games, just like how we have two Dire Grove games. This is good. Just what I need. Will it be enough to help Derek? Yes. If I get the right herbs. These are what I need. Some might be buried in the snow, but I know you're resourceful. Yes, I am a master detective. Should we tell the other Mistwalkers and the Hunters? It wouldn't do much good. According to the prophecy, it takes the Hermit's arch enemy and his bloodkin to bring him down. So it's up to the three of us alone. You, me, and Derek. Wait, why am Come I part of this Come back when you find prophecy? the ingredients from the list. Wait, why am I part of this prophecy? Okay, so, Madam, uh, okay, so the original game was, um, Mystery Case Files, Madam Fate. The previous game they're referencing here is Mystery Case Files, Fate's Carnival. Just in case you're super curious about where this Alistar, uh, uh, you know, where this villain is coming from. He's from the Fates Carnival game. This is actually a pretty good challenge. I kind of like it. Go on every screen and find... Find these flowers. The flowers are basically morphing objects, which is one of the hallmarks of the series. If it isn't the Master Detective, our paths cross once again, but this time, I'll win. Na 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 I'm evil, I shoot lightning, la 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 la. <gasps> I'm basically the bad guy from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Lily knew about my plans, so I had to sacrifice her. It was worth it. The conflict between the Hunters and the Mistwalkers has escalated. I'll wait for the right moment to conduct my ritual. Okay, so the alternate ending of the game is an alternate ending where the bad guy from the previous game reappears. I can accept that. That makes sense for an alternate ending. Here, take this. It'll help cure Derek. I'll do that in the next video.